That sucked, man. And to be honest, I thought I'd feel more. I did too. And no one there knows what really happened. Yeah. It's Allie. Hey, Allie. Uh, yeah, we can come meet you. Okay. See you there. She wants to talk to us. She asked if we could stop by the reception. Fuck. I really didn't want to do this. Yeah, me neither, but we probably should have gone anyway. Nothing about what really happened. I know. You guys left the funeral quickly. Yeah, I'm sorry. It was uh, pretty rough being there. I know. How are you holding up? Not good. Try not to cry in front of my mom. How long has he been doing heroin? You're Aiden's best friends, and you're telling me you didn't know he was into heroin? Of course we know he wasn't. He obviously was. What other explanation is there? What's going on with you guys? Are you into it too? No. Then how could you let Aiden? We didn't know, Allie, honestly. Then you're terrible friends. I found him, Allie. You think I wanted to see him like that? It's okay. It's nobody's fault. Look, I'm sorry. Allie, we really had no idea. In all honesty. Sorry. Just so pissed at Aiden. So am I. I miss him so much. So do I. I'm sorry. Don't be. I'm here for you, okay? Ray is too. Be strong for your parents. You're gonna need it. Hi baby, this is Jade. Yeah, I do that. Okay, just text me the address. I'll see you tonight, baby. He's really gone. I think Allie just really got to me, you know? I mean, we were his best friends. How could we let this happen? You know, 
They thought he was doing heroin. If that were the case, yeah, this would be on us. Aiden got himself into some shit. That's not on us. Yeah, it just got to me as all. I mean, being at that funeral, it's for real, he's gone. And I keep thinking that Dennis has a family too. They're gonna find out that he's lying somewhere with a bullet in his head. It's gonna tear them apart too. You can't think like that, man. Why not? It's true. I don't know. I guess I'd just rather not think about it. I'm just ready to put this shit behind me, man. <coughs> what? Well, that's not exactly an option at the moment. Why? After Liv and I helped Kai get the insurance guy the other day. He said, what? I think his exact words were, y'all work for me now. And you didn't think to tell me this? I'm sorry, I wanted to get through the funeral. Are you or... fucking kidding me? I'm sorry, I don't know what to say. You know something like that, you better fucking tell me right away. We're in this bullshit together. You don't tell me shit, how the fuck am I supposed to trust you? I'm sorry. Yeah, you damn well better be. In case you forgot, this was your idea in the first place. It doesn't matter. Aiden stashed that money here. We were always going to be players in this no matter what. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I don't know what else you want me to say. I should have told you sooner. So what now? I don't know. That's all he said. He didn't say anything about what or how or when. Nothing. So those clowns and that creepy guy are just going to keep showing up here whenever Kai needs us? Apparently. <laughs> Wonderful. He looks lonely. He could use a partner. He'll always have me. You know what I mean? I never have any fucking idea what you mean. It's just a thought, dude. Well, stop having fucking thoughts. Let's go. And don't say another fucking word. Nervous? A little bit. Is it your first time? I had a feeling. I fixed the strings to take the edge off. Cheers. Are you kidding me? I said they got someone else now, man. And you don't know who it is. Our boy Harris must be more connected than we thought. Do you want us to pick up Edgar? Bring his ass down here? Yeah. Bring his ass down here. We're gonna see how tough that motherfucker is when he walk in. You know what? I ain't fuck it. We don't need none of his dirty drug money. I mean, we not drug dealers. Kai. Simon, do you see what's going on downstairs right now? We got a bar full of white people drinking all day every day, buying packaged goods. We don't need no money. We got money! Not enough. We don't launder for Edgar and the other guys, run muscle for Harris. We default on our loans. You know I'm not just talking bank loans. Our shit goes all the way to the maker. Don't go preaching that mythology shit on me right now. Whatever you want to call him, he's real. You know that. And you also know we owe him a lot of money. It's just a made-up name, like Pope Francis. Price. What did we tell you about talking? To do it when spoken to. Right, so you need to shut the fuck up whoa, sometimes. Whoa, 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 God, God, God. Listen, man. Simon's right, man. We don't have nearly enough. And regardless of what his fucking name is, we owe some serious people some serious money, man.
Alright, we'll bring his ass in then. Shit, we'll get his business back. Boy said, tell me that you no longer need my services anymore. Is that true? Got a better price. From who? Can't say. <laughs> well, that doesn't even make a difference anyway because I already know it's Harris. Let me guess. You sell to all the brothers and the Latinos in Highland Town. But you ain't threatening enough, so you keep all them white kids down in Canton and Phil's all coked up. Is that about right? And you got a good situation because you got your spots and nobody bothers you. You working solo. We cleaning up all your money for you. And we also making sure that nobody bothers you. So you got protection. But now you have no muscle or no protection. And I'm sure your supplier, he like you. Because you're making him money. But if something happens to you, it won't be hard for him to find another replacement. Cause see, it ain't hard slinging dope on the corner or pumping white folks full of blow. Which brings me to my next question. Now that I'm not running your muscle any longer, what's going to protect you from me or any of my boys? And that's exactly what I thought. See, it's that simple. Because you won't even see us fucking coming. Don't get the fuck out of my office. And I'll be around to get that money. Kid, he's easy. Carl is holding out though. He won't even come in. It's not a kid, Kai. Can't just intimidate him. Well, stay close to the kid and get that money tomorrow. Me and Sai, we gonna go deal with Carlo. Kill us? If I was gonna kill you, I wouldn't have woken you up. Wait, how'd you get in? You think it's that difficult for me to get inside your house? This case was especially easy. Your door was unlocked. Come on, Kai wants to see you. You guys fucking stink. Long night. Of what? Dildoing each other? I am way too hungover to deal with any of your shit today, Liv. What the fuck? Wait. I know that's not y'all smelling like shit. And y'all look like shit. Don't look at me. I don't got time for none of your dumbass games today, so I'm gonna get straight to the point. Now that y'all work for me, there will be no working any other games on the side. Everything you got going on ends now. I'm talking about from weed dealing, pickpocketing, all the shit you got going on ends today. So are you gonna pay us? Live. 
I really appreciate your forbearance. But from now on, when I'm talking, don't ask me no other motherfucking questions until I'm done. Do you understand? Noted. Now, I'm going to be giving to each of y'all 1500 a week. This is that shut your fucking mouth money. Now, whatever day jobs y'all have, y'all can keep that shit because I really don't care about that. But whoever you come in contact with or run across, do not mention my name. And especially don't mention the work that you do for me. What do we do for you? Didn't you just hear me tell her, do not ask me questions? That shit didn't only apply to her. Yeah, Leo, what did he just say about asking questions? Liv, that was a question too. Now, y'all jobs may vary depending on my manpower and what's needed. Now, you may hear from me often or you might not hear from me for weeks at a time, but that doesn't mean that your money will stop rolling in. And you will hear from me through my boy Simon or Q and Price. Hearing from them is just like hearing from me. Do not mention my name. Don't cross me. And do not piss me off because we all know what happens when I get pissed off here's your first week's pay this is so fucked man did he say how we get paid every week something tells me it's not going to be direct deposit yeah. well lovely as ever guys but you smell like shit and you're going to be some more. You really think she'll cut out any games she's got going on? I hope so. Hope so? These guys will probably kill us if they find out we're doing anything. So what do you want to do? Follow her? That's exactly what I want to do. Oh, Jesus. So go if you want to. But I gotta go to work. I can't. I have to meet Allie for lunch. So what the fuck is going on with Carla? I got a better deal. It's as simple as that. But we've been good to you. What can I tell you? It's not the best price anymore. So who you working with? Okay, so what's the price? No, I'm not playing that game. You want my business back, you make me an offer. It's simple. What's Harris up to? I got no idea what you mean. Okay, so you don't work with hers. I told you I'm not playing that game. Kai? Simon? Yeah, we'd be in touch. Yeah, look forward to it. So how are you holding up? Same as yesterday, I guess. What about you? You look like shit. Late night. Ray and I had our own wake for Aiden. He really didn't know what he was doing. I swear, I didn't, Allie. Not even Ray? He didn't either. You need to tell me the truth, Leo. I am, I promise. This didn't have anything to do with you doing something stupid, did it? It did, but it was only Aiden. Ray and I had no idea what he had gotten himself into. What happened to all of us? What do you mean? You know, we used to be so close and I can't remember the last time I saw you guys. Just, it's like, what were we all doing? What was so important? Yeah, I think that's why I called you. I guess after yesterday, I was thinking about the past, thinking about us, I don't know. I guess we all just grow apart, huh? Why does that happen? What? I mean, I'm sitting here with you right now and immediately regretting all of that time that's passed without seeing each other. I miss you, Allie. And I think I just didn't realize how much I missed you until right now. I miss you too.
open up, live its right. What's up? What are you up to? What do you mean? I mean, you work in the block tonight? Casting couch auditions? Because I know what this looks like. Or do you forget that I came up with this play with you back then? Get to your point. Well, first off, Kai said to stop pulling any other games we got going on. Second, this isn't a safe play alone. Oh, so you're here to lecture me? Just come on, Liv. Right, we're not friends anymore. Exactly, what the fuck happened? Do you really want to go over that? Yeah, we had your back, and you fucked us. Well, I didn't feel like you did. Well, why are you pulling this now? This shit's dangerous alone. We're members of an honest-to-god crime ring now, and you're telling me that this is dangerous? Yeah, especially because Kai specifically told us to cut out all their games. Well, I need the money. He's paying us 1500 a week. Right, are you an idiot? We have an expiration date with Kai, don't you see that? He's not keeping us around forever, especially the way you guys operate. Leo's a loose fucking cannon. Kai doesn't need that around. He's gonna realize that sooner or later, and when he does, I don't want to be here. So you're running? As soon as I have enough money, yeah. We won't work for Kai forever. This whole thing will fizzle out. Fizzle out? How do you think that's gonna end? Kai just lets us walk away? Because we don't just walk. We end up in the woods or in the bottom of the harbor in a fucking vacant with a bullet in our heads. So excuse me for wanting to get out. I want out too, Liv, but it's not that simple. We have to play by Kai's rules right now until we figure something out. What, me, you, and Leo? We're not a crew. I'll do whatever the fuck I want. Yes, we are. To Kai, we absolutely are. Whether you like it or not, he sees us as a crew. So I'm just trying to figure out what's best for all of us. So for right now, just please, stop pulling your own shit. If he catches you, that's it for all of us. He's not gonna catch me. Oh, and you wanna gamble that? You said yourself we have an expiration date. Keep this up and you're gonna bring that on a whole lot sooner. Are you done? Liv, I care about you. And I know Leo does too, as much as he won't admit it. I'm sorry for what happened before, but we did have your back whether you thought we did or not. When you bailed, you hung us out to dry. And it catch the beating of a lifetime. We're good with Edgar now. Money should keep flowing. How'd things go with Carla? Not good. You need a song? Not yet. But I do want you to be on our boy Harris. Simon is going to go send him a message tonight. Then from there, I want you and Price on his every single move. Yeah, we on that. All right. I cannot believe she's still doing that. I'm gonna have kidney failure worrying about this. <sighs> Liver failure, at least. But you know, if we're looking on the bright side, we have a lot more money now. Yeah. And I've always wanted to be worried about getting murdered every second of my life. See? It's all working out. Sure is. But you know, maybe it would be more manageable than I think. How in the world is this even remotely manageable? I don't know if I'm just trying to think positively. Or I'm drunk. But maybe Kyle just uses us for odd jobs and we can keep living like we normally do. What, are we supposed to pick up his fucking dry cleaning? I don't know. Okay, a couple of things. One, that's retarded. Two, Liv running her own game like that basically fucks us right in our asses. If Kai finds out about that, we're done. You're an angry drunk. Fuck off. We should have a party. Might help us feel normal again. It's not actually a terrible idea. That'll at least help us take our minds off this shit for the night. Party? Yeah. What is it, Ray? First off, hi. What a rude way to answer the phone. What do you want? Wow, still so rude. Bye, Ray. No, 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 don't hang up. I was just playing. Seriously, what do you want? Leo and I are having a party. I wanted to see if you want to come. What's your angle here? I really don't have an angle, Liv, okay? I feel bad about earlier. I, I know I can't control what you do, but I don't know. I think it is best if we do all stick together in some way. We were all friends before this. I think we need that back. 
Look, I promise no lectures. I just want to invite you to the party. I'll think about it. How long does it take that to grow back? Dude, I have no idea, but I hope it does soon because it's like incredibly embarrassing. So, uh, I invited Liv. Really? We're gonna gather now, man. You guys gotta get along. Oh, yeah. Whatever, she's probably not even coming, so don't worry about it. Come to me. I'll take you. I'm really glad you came tonight. Me too. It feels really good to be normal. Yeah. I don't know why we all fell out of touch. I don't really know what happened. Me neither, but we're here now, and I've cried a lot lately, so let's just try to have a good time. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. So now you're gonna smile real big, gonna tell yourself a lie. If you had nothing to lose, why did you cry? Think of any reasons not to come. Believe me, I tried. And I'm sure it'll annoy Leo that I'm here. I will be right back. Let me say. <clears throat> hey Liv. Leo. Wanna make your pain dissolve. A drink to get it wetter. A drink to strengthen your resolve. Oh. Then you're gonna run downtown. Gonna... Do you wanna stay over? I do. But if we're gonna get back into this, I just wanna take it slow, Leo. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna head out. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to- No, 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 it's okay, you didn't do anything. I, I just, I'm ready to call it a night. This is the most normal I felt this past week, so thank you. Let me walk in. Okay. Happened. Bullshit, yes it is. Yeah, you hated that kid. I did not. He just always tried to sit next to me on the bus. And he smelled so fucking bad. <laughs> so that's your excuse for stealing his lunch money every day and blaming us? Well, he had a crush on me, so he wouldn't suspect me. <laughs> oh, wow. Calm down, Harris. I know you need your glasses, but if you're looking for your gun, I've already got it. What do you want? I want to know what you're up to. I don't know what you're talking about. So it's just a coincidence that 24 hours after we pull our business from you, Carlo and his boys do the same to us? Let me ask you something. What's a bookkeeper like you want with a drug dealer like Carlo? I still don't know what you're talking about. Harris, this is your chance to do things the easy way. I'll find out what you're up to one way or another. And if you think you can squeeze us out, you won't. You're a tough kid, I'll give you credit for that. But you are naive. See, I've been around a while. I have a little bit more experience. I'm not up to anything. And you've had me alone several times already, and you've not pulled that trigger. So I know you're not going to now. because I know your wife's out of town. If you don't cooperate with us, I'll make sure she's lying there next time a bullet hits that pillow. Now go to sleep, Paris. I'll leave your gun downstairs.